because I know this one video is going to help you out. What's happening, baby? Living the dream! Yeah! What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Living the Outdoor Dreams. This episode right here, I'm helping you if you have a giant boat like this or if you have a boat with a seat similar to this and you want to cut it, make compartments, and put a cushion seat on it. Giant boat, you got to minimize all the space you have. That's pretty much all boats. And what I'm doing right here on this one right here, I'm going to put three separate compartments. I don't know what I'm gonna put in the compartments exactly yet, but I know I'm probably gonna put definitely a battery and some survival kit, some, some basic stuff. But right here, I'm gonna show you exactly how to convert this into three compartments with a cushion seat. So let's jump to it. So the first step right here, you got, I had a seat that was right here. Now, took the seat out. So I took a measurement from this wall all the way to the back wall. I mean the side walls. The two side walls I found dead center. I found dead center and I worked from dead center. And I came out, I put my center seat so you can see the square. I don't know if you're about to see the square, but I have one square here, a square here, and a square there. And I use my square to make sure all my straight lines is all perfect straight. I'm gonna go ahead and get the grinder and I'm just gonna put a cutting blade, a grinding blade on it. I'm just gonna cut it out now on the inside of these seats, they have foam on the inside. So I'm gonna have to cut the foam, take the foam out. So I'm happy that it rained because if foam wants to catch on fire, then, you know, it, I'm about to die out real quick. I have my water hose right there, right up on my fence, just in case it does want to catch on fire. You have to take safety and precaution because aluminum cutting creates sparks. You have foam, it can catch on fire, all that good stuff. So remember, as you do these DIYs and go out, go out about your day, remember safety first. Remember, if this video helps you out, remember to hit that subscribe button. It helps me out, it helps the channel out. And if you really want to help out showing that you're living the dream, go on the website, hit the link up above, go get you a sticker, merch, whatever. That really helps me support the channel. I'm not doing this to become a millionaire. The money that I make, I have a full-time job, so like, I'm not depending on this as a structure. Yeah, it'd be awesome just to make videos if that's what y'all want. For me to keep making videos and helping y'all out, I'll, I'll be more than willing to make this a full-time career. But until y'all help me make that full-time adjustment, then I'll still be working. And I have no problem with that because I know this one video is going to help you out. Step. since I got the aluminum cut I used the grinder you seen that like I was saying they got some foam good thing my foam didn't catch on fire it did get hot it's it kind of melted some spots but it didn't catch on fire so I'm just gonna cut some of the foam and pull it out cut the foam pull it out use a knife it's real easy you're about to do that The foam really did kick my butt. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm sweating, I'm tired. So, just a heads up, this foam, taking this foam out is a job. All right, I'm gonna take a break, clean this all up. I'm gonna get this all nice and organized, cleaned up, and get ready to start putting it back together.
right guys, so I pretty much cleaned the mar majority of the area. I got some little pieces. I was gonna vacuum this and this, but I didn't. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get some plywood. I got my plywood right here. I got half inch treated plywood. And this lip, right on the inside, there's a lip. I'm gonna put plywood at the bottom. And this spot right here, I'm gonna put the wires. I cut this, so by cutting it, I weaken the structure of it. You have to remember on boats, if you do any cutting or modifying, you don't wanna weaken your hull. So since I weaken it, I'm gonna re, I'm actually gonna make it stronger because I'm not just going to do the bottom piece. I'm actually going to do these pieces right here. So I'm going to actually put more support on the inside. So let me go ahead. I'm going to cut that, get that together. Then once I get that together, now I'm going to have my three lids. I'm going to vinyl wrap it, put cushions, hinges, everything. So you'll see the final product is going to look absolutely awesome. And the reason that another little key point, the reason I'm I'm putting the bottom piece is because one, I'm going to be putting my battery in there, electronics, everything. I don't want it going all the way to the bottom, touching the hall because the water, if I have any water, it flows to the back. I want it good flowing. I don't want nothing stopping it. And I'm not going to really um, worry about pulling the plywood up if there's any problems because right here in the front, I could I could see and I'm about to get to it if there's anything that goes underneath it. I'm pretty sure nothing's going to go underneath it. It it was pretty clean. They didn't have that much stuff underneath it. But anyway, let me get to it. Oh yeah, it's finally done. Boom, open it up. I got all of them, nice and neat. Hinges work good. The only thing, the only thing that I need to do is pretty much take these wires, run them underneath something that I didn't do. But that's besides the point. This came out, I think it came out really nice. Uh, you can see right here, these, I think it came out really nice. It looks good. Yes, it's not like a 100% high-end boat show professional, but I think it came out good. I believe in just, if it works, it works. And if it's gonna last, it's gonna last. So it doesn't pay to go and spend all kinds of money. I don't, I'm not telling y'all, look, this is a million, million dollar job I did for five. No, this is, this right here, the material to do this and that front seat, the material cost it all together, maybe around about $200. That's hinges, that's wood, that's everything. That's not the tools, but that's the material. So $200, I wind up with this and that seat right there. And I would have to say, you know, <laughs> it looks good. Yeah, it, it, I need to clean it up, clean everything up, but Let's go fishing. By me saying, let's go fishing, hit the link up above and go check out one of my other videos of fishing. To the next video, y'all go out and live the dream.